Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add borders to your video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This one is nice, easy, and really quick, so let's jump right into it. Once you have Premiere Pro loaded and you've got your video footage on layer one, we need to begin by creating a brand new black video. So we'll go into the new item tab on the left hand side of Premiere Pro and select black video. Make sure this is 1920 by 1080 if you have a 1080p composition. And then we'll drag the black video onto video layer two on top of the video footage. Now from here, we'll go over into opacity and we're gonna use the pen tool to create a mask. So select the pen tool, we'll go up to the very left hand side of the video, create a brand new point, go down to the bottom left side of the video, create another point, go to the bottom right, create another point, top right, and then back to the top left. Now, as you can see, this has generated a really weird black video in the middle of our video, which is very ugly and is definitely not a border. So in order to fix this, we just need to press the inverted tab inside of the mask and then we'll just pull the mask feather down to 0% from 50. And in theory, that is how you generate a border inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. But we can take this one step further and clean this up a little bit. If we wanted to change the size of the border or change the shape of the border, all we would need to do is just go in and change the positioning of each one of these points in the corner. So if you wanted to increase the size of the border, just pull these points closer towards the center of the frame. If you wanted to reduce the size of the border, then just pull these points closer to the edge of the frame. Now, of course, if you don't want a black border, if you want a green border, for example, then we would need to go into effects, search for tint, drop tint onto the black video layer. And then inside of tint, we want to map the black to your desired color of choice. So map black to a yellowy green color, let's say for this example, and there you go. That's really simple, really quick, and a really awesome way to generate borders inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.